Well, hello and welcome to Outdoors for Adventure. We have made a quick adventure driving into Louisiana. And this just happens to be a little forest park that we came across. And this is, uh, I believe it's a Corny Lake. I've got pictures of the sign, so I'll post those pictures so you can see exactly what this is. As you can see, it's a beautiful area. Now the bathrooms here are closed. As I said, they didn't have water, work, working water. It did show uh, camping. Now this goes on around over there, so we're gonna go back there with the Jeep in a little bit, but we wanted to explore this area just a little bit first. Ashley's been down there taking pictures. Wave at the camera! We'll walk over to this sign over here and see if there's any kind of information on it. One thing I noticed as we pulled up is a bunch of piers built out into the water. Great for fishing. No fishing from boat dock. No water due to water main break. No swimming. Okay, it is Corny Lake. There's your rules and regulations. And here's some boat launch information. So, so we'll walk down toward the water over here and show this little section before we move over to the section that's over there. It's a really pretty lake. Did you, I didn't, maybe the camping's over there? Because I didn't see any kind of fees. For camping yet but the docks I was talking about or the piers I was talking about there's one right there yeah cypress trees are pretty boy look at them all out there in the middle of the lake Tree and there's persimmons rotting all over the ground. Yeah, there are. Persimmon tree. There's a persimmon that's been smashed. I picked the seeds out of a couple of them. There's one that's been smashed. Yeah, I actually got some seeds. A bunch of them. It looks like this dock is going to be handicap accessible. We'll follow the sidewalk down to it. There's a boat dock over there. It is cold today. I'm sure it's windy. I'm sure y'all getting some wind sound. I think I see a camper over there at that campground. If you look right through there, in the middle of the screen should be a camper. As you can see, it's, it is on an incline, but the sidewalk does go to this pier where a wheelchair could be wheeled down here. Some really big pine trees. Really big. Got some benches here. Now we'll 
walk out on this pier. Really quiet. Of course, it being cold, close to Christmas, there's not going to be many people here. Bridge going over the lake over there. I'm trying not to shake. I'm just a tad bit cold. This is this section, so we're going to go and check out right over there. This isn't a real big area, but there are a few more places on the map. So far it has been paved roads. So we're going to go back to the Jeep and check out a little bit more there and get back with you. If you haven't subscribed to the channel don't forget to go click that subscribe button real quick it helps us out a whole lot and give us a thumbs up if you like the video if you don't like it go ahead and hit that thumbs down it's all interaction it's all good appreciate it we'll continue when we get to the other section in this video you are looking at the corny lake unit this is in one of the Kasachi National Forest regions. The Corny Lake unit includes the Corny Lake Recreation Area, which is a beautiful 2,300 acre reservoir, which has become a very popular fishing and waterfowl hunters destination. Facilities are included on both sides of the lake, with the south side offering more modern fixtures. This is the section that we are in in this video. We did not drive over to the other side where the more primitive camping areas are. Also included in the Corny Lake unit is a hunter camp which is located just northwest of the Corny Lake complex. Visitors on this south shore camping area can utilize the facilities which include paid roads, lantern posts, fire rings, restrooms, ample parking, and trash receptacles. Visitors in this area can also use single and group picnic facilities, which include a covered group use shelter, several single picnic tables, a park-like setting with grass, a fishing pier, restrooms, ample parking, and trash receptacles. The closest town is Homer. There is drinking water and vault toilet. Visitors on the North Shore camp area should expect a more primitive atmosphere than the South Shore facilities. There are no easy turnarounds for large vehicles. The campsites include a fire ring, a lantern post, and picnic table. There are no restroom or trash receptacles at the North Shore location. I hope you enjoyed our adventure in this location. Stay tuned as we check out a state park that's close by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Y'all have a good day.